Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important verse from the Bible as we read from the King James Version Bible. Philippians 3 verse 8. Here the word says, Suffered the loss of all things, that I may win Christ. Suffered the loss of all things, that I may win Christ. Philippians 3 verse 8. Every great life has had in it some great renunciation. Every great life has had in it some great renunciation. Abraham began by letting go and going out and all the way it was just giving up. First his home, his father, his past, next his inheritance to Lord, his selfish nephew, and finally, the very child of promise on the altar of Morai. But he became the father of the faithful, whose inheritance was as the sands of the sea and the stars of the heavens. It happens in a life also, isn't it, beloved? We see that most of our things are going and going. Yes, but God has a plan for you and me as we see he had a son, Abraham had a son, and also as he was asked to even sacrifice him. We read in Genesis 22, verse 14, he, it is said God will provide. Genesis 22, verse 14, the words are true even today. Genesis 22, verse 8 says God will provide as Abraham said to his son, and it is true, beloved. Yes, God will provide all our needs. For he is a loving father, as it is the Father's Day also. Yes, he is a loving father, as we read in Isaiah 63, 64. Everywhere we read, he is a loving father. Yes, beloved. We are his clay, he is a potter, as we read in Isaiah 64, verse 8. And he comforts us as loving mother. The words are true, Isaiah 66, verse 13. The words are true, beloved. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. As we read in Matthew 24, 35, and he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As we read in Hebrews 13, verse 8. Yes, beloved, let us take out time, at least half an hour, and from the 24 hours, and read the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshu Masiha, on the cross for us, that he who believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Yes. John 3.16. The words are true, beloved. That is the demonstration of love God has for you and me. And the commandment given to you and to me is we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Yes. And we have to love our neighbor. The words are true as we read in John 10. 25 to 27, and we shall live. The word says further. The words are true, John 15, 12. We have to love our neighbor, beloved. Yes, love covers all differences. Love breaks all barrier, and love never ends. Love is the greatest of all. As we read in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, the word says, faith, hope, and charity. But greatest of all is love. The words are true, beloved. Love can cover up all differences, whatever the we have the differences between each other. It will go away. Yes, beloved. Love is the gift to all of us. Yes, let us love one another. For when we love one another, Christ lives in us. And his love is made complete through us. 1 John 4.12 And he who is within me is greater than he who is in this world. 1 John 4.4 4. Hallelujah. He is the God of living, beloved, not of the dead. And all live to him. Words are true. As we read the mighty word is speaking to you and to me. Yes, as we read the mighty word in mighty word, Luke 20, verse 38. Hallelujah. He is the maker of heaven and earth. As we read in Psalm 121, the word says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. 
He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. He is our Emmanuel, beloved. Yes, God with us. He is our Ebenezer. God will help us. He is our Ishunisi. He is a banner as we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, beloved. He is a morning star and also he is the King of kings, Lord of lords. Malekha Malekim. He is the God, the Lord righteousness. Yes, the Lord of righteousness as we read in Isaiah 9 verse 6. The words are true, beloved. He is our Yeshua Sarah Shalom. Yes, Yeshua Tizat Kenu. Yes, he is a mighty God. Yes, and Yeshua Sarah Shalom. Yes, beloved, he is a mighty God who will bless us with peace as he is the Prince of Peace. Yes, beloved. So whatever is our request for today, let us go and present ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us put all our problems in his hand. For the word says in 1 Peter 5, 7, Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. The words are true, beloved. The word says, only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, the words are true. I am his witness. Yes, the word says, ask, believe, and you will receive it. The words are true, as we read the mighty word. Hallelujah. It is speaking to you and to me. Mark 5, verse 36. Hallelujah. The word says, behave courageously, as we read the mighty word. In Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 11, and the word says, as we read the mighty word, yes, in 1 Chronicles 14, it is speaking to you and to me, seek the counsel of the God. Yes, let us always seek counsel of our Lord, for he will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel and watch over us. Psalm 32 verse 8, let us no way become like a horse or a mule, or else his word will not keep with us. Yes, so let us meditate on the word of God. For when we meditate on the word of God, we will have wealth and richness in our house. Psalm 112 verse 3. Your every question's answer is there in the Bible, beloved. Yes, as we read the Bible, we will get the answer. We will also get peace, joy and happiness in our house, in our life. For when we ask the Holy Spirit, we will have the Holy Spirit with us. For the Holy Spirit has been given to you and to me as a guide, as we will receive the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit. The word says, ask and you will receive. The words are very simple. It shall be given to everyone who asks. As we read in Matthew 7 verse 8, yes, there is no feast, beloved. There is no kind of sacrifice required. You have to only believe. Yes, fear not, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. Yes, beloved, the words are true. He is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation 19 verse 6. Yes, and he is a very present help in trouble. Yes, maybe our loved ones may be far away when we require the help. But Jesus Christ is present with us right now. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time of Lord's favor. Receive healing right now, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear children. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. The words are true. As we read in Isaiah 53 verse 5. And he took our infirmities and carried the diseases. As we read in Matthew 8 verse 17. Yes, he is the mighty God, beloved. And the word is fire, the word is spirit, the word is life. John 6, verse 63. And in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word is God. Yes, John 1, 1. The words are true, beloved. This is the living word. It is the good news for you and me. Yes, as we read in Luke chapter 2. As we read the newspaper, sometimes the news is depressing. Sometimes the news is full of fear. Sometimes the news is full of astonishment and wonder what will happen tomorrow. But here is the news, the good news, that is the word of God, the Bible. Yes, let us wear the armor of God every day, beloved, as we wake up in the morning. For the devil is prowling outside. The word says in Ephesians 6, 11, let us wear the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Let us be ready and let us be victorious in life. For he's already gone ahead of us and he's already sent us. The words are true as we read in mighty word. Yes, the word is speaking to you and to me. Judges 4.14, Judges 6.14. Yes, beloved. The victory rests with our mighty God. Proverbs 21, verse 31. Yes, the horse is made ready for the day of battle. But the victory rests with our mighty God. Yes. And with victory 
we have obedience. The words are true. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Yes. And the word says in Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 14. The promise, the blessings of the obedience. Yes, the promises of obedience. That is when we love him, when we keep his commandment, we shall be the head and not the tail. Thou will bless my basket and we shall not borrow but lend to the nations. The words are true. Hallelujah. As we see Abraham, the faith he had in his God after he lost everything. Yes, let us also have the same faith as he was called the father of righteousness. Yes, yes. Let us also be walking in the way of God. Yes, beloved. Yes, let us be strong in our faith as he was called the father of faithfulness. Let us also be receiving the blessing from our living God. As we see also in the life of Job, he lost everything. Yes, beloved. For the word says in Job, 42 was to God. It speaks about God. It says he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. Yes, beloved, the words are true. God can change a situation. Whether you are in the depths of the financial crisis, whether you are in the dungeon of various problems, whether you are in sick bed, whether you are nobody today, God will raise you up, beloved. Yes, he is also a resurrection and a life. Yes, he can do everything. The word says, only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. He can do everything, beloved, for he is the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, beloved. Yes, the words are true. We have to just seize the day. We have to just obey a living God. He has loved us even before we loved him, beloved. The words are true. He has loved us with everlasting love. God has loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 was three yes beloved yes as let us be strong as abraham was called the father of faithfulness let us also be faithful to our living god we let us always say thy will be done john 6 yes the words are true in verse 38 yes beloved for he knows what is good for us he knows what is best for us let us wait for our living god the word says in isaiah 30 verse 18 i will look to the lord yes the words are true it says, yes, as we read, God rises to have compassion on us. He longs to be gracious to us. He is a God of justice. Blessed is the man who waits upon the Lord. Yes, let us wait upon God. For the word says in Micah 7.7, 7, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for him and he will answer my prayer. The words are true. He will answer my prayer. Hallelujah. Hear David saying, neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God. Of that which doth cost me nothing. Second Samuel 24 was 24. David paid the full price, and we read, The throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. 1 Kings 2 was 45. Hannah gave up her boy, and he became the prophet of restoration of ancient Israel. Paul not only suffered the loss of all things, but counted them, but refused that he might win Christ. And Paul stood before the common place and in the places of the kings. Yes, beloved. As we see Hannah's life, she did not have children and she was barren, but God blessed her. Yes, it is written as we read in 1 Samuel 3.20, the loan which she gave to God as we read the word. Yes, she had strong faith in the living God and God blessed her with the son Samuel. Yes, the words are true. Yes, similarly, God will bless you also, my dear sister. For there will be nobody barren in your land. The words are true as we read the mighty word. It is speaking to you and to me. Exodus, yes, 23, 26. And all he will bless us with a full lifespan. Hallelujah. Yes, he's a mighty God, beloved. He can do anything. Yes, he's also the resurrection and the life. He brought Lazarus up from the grave on the fourth day. Yes. We have to trust in our living God. We have to only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. I am his witness. I want you also to taste and see. The Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Yes. Psalm 34 verse 8. Yes, beloved. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Psalm 34 verse 19. Come what may, let us not quit in life. 
Let us not give up in life. Yes, whatever is your request today, my dear brother, my dear sister, go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. Put up your request to him. Pray fast if required. As we read in Ezra 8 verse 23, the word says, We fasted, we entreated to our God, and he answered our prayer. The words are true, beloved. He will answer our prayer. He will bless us abundantly, not meagerly. Yes, he will take care of us. He will be with us. Yes, and also he will carry us. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 4. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. Isaiah 46 verse 4. And Isaiah 46, it speaks to you and to me. Yes, from the beginning he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. So it is always real sacrifice unto complete surrender of self brings to us the revelation of God in his fullness. As we have already seen, it was only on condition of Jacob's releasing and brothers bringing the best they had, Benjamin, that they could even see Joseph's face again. And when Judah went further than this and offered himself to be Joseph's slave forever, then it was that Joseph could keep back nothing, but found himself compelled to reveal everything to those for whom his heart earned. It is God's own way with us. God in Jesus Christ does not and apparently cannot make himself fully known in his personality and love until we have surrendered to him unconditionally and forever. Not only all we have but all we are, then God can refrain no longer but lavishes upon us in Christ such a revealing of himself that it cannot be told in words. But the supreme sacrifice, yes, beloved, God had to sacrifice himself in Christ in order thus to reveal himself to us, isn't it? Yes. And also, let us, as the important point, as we read over here right now, as we were reading the word, it says, Suffer the loss of all things that I may win Christ. Philippians 3.8 Yes, beloved, for us to live is Christ and to die is gain. Yes, the words are true. Philippians 1.21 To us to live is Christ and to die is gain. For my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshu Siha. The words are true. Philippians 4.19 Yes, God will provide all your needs, beloved. Yes, my dear brother, my dear sister, wipe away all those tears, for God is a salvation. As we read in Revelation 7.10 and Revelation 7.17 7, says, He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters. And also the word says, He will provide all our needs. Yes, He will be our shepherd. The words are true. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah. As we read in Psalm 23, verse 1. Hallelujah. Yes, as we go in his presence, he will take care of each one of us, beloved. The word says in Zechariah 1 verse 3, Return to me and I will return to you. The words are true. He is a living God, beloved. He will take care of us. He will be with us. Yes, do not quit in life. Do not give up in life. For you and me are in this world. God has a plan, beloved. Yes, arise and shine is the message for you and me. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Do like and subscribe the channel Arise and Shine Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The words are true. As we read the mighty word, yes, Joshua 24 verse 15. Yes, beloved. For all your prayer requests, do send us an email. The email address is given in the description of this video. And also, for all those who wish to give the tithes as the Lord is guiding you, for the tithes, for the donation, you can give it to us as the link is given in the description. This is the mission for the blind. Yes. And remember, God will bless us abundantly, not meagerly. Psalm 38 verse 6. For there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. As we read in Ezekiel 34, 26. Yes, for he blesses us abundantly, beloved. Ephesians 
3 verse 20. He is knocking at the door of your heart and my heart. Let us receive Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he will come and sup with us. He will bless us with peace. Let him be the chief guest of our house, the master of our life. Yes, the captain of our ship called life. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. For let us also read the Bible. It is the manna to our soul and also it is the roadmap of life. Yes, written with the finger of God, the Ten Commandments and all guidance we have of everything. Yes, we have the blessings. The word is for everyone, for rich, poor, for everyone. Yes, beloved. Yes, for Jesus Christ loves you and me. Also, the word says those who hope in him will not be disappointed. Isaiah 49, verse 23. The words are true, beloved. Yes, the words are true for I am his witness. Hallelujah. Yes, there is no fees required. The word says when you pray, believe and believe that you've received it, you will receive it. As we read in Mark 11, verse 24, the words are true, beloved. You will be filled with joy, peace, happiness in your life. Experience it. Be blessed today and every day. Hallelujah. The word goes even for the prisoners. The word says in Isaiah 49, the word is saying in verse 9, God is saying to the prisoners and those who are in dungeon, go forth and those who are in the darkness, the word says, show forth yourself. Yes, God loves each one of us, beloved. He will deliver us. He will deliver us. The words are true as we read the mighty word in Jeremiah 39. Yes, the words are true, beloved. As my brothers and sisters who say their past have been in waste, the word comes to you and to me. Joel 2.19-27, to the word says, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten. You shall never be put to shame. You shall never be put to shame. Hallelujah, the words are true. Yes, beloved. And the prophecy for this year for you and me, the word says, as we read the mighty word, Hallelujah, it is saying, I know your thoughts, God is saying. I have plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you and me. Yes, there is future for us, beloved. Be strong, be courageous. Be blessed today and every day. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 27. Amen, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen.